All clear. Dispatch, enjoy your ride. Welcome to Theme Park Tempo. I am here today at Icon Park for something I've been trying to do for as long as I moved down here. I had the world's tallest slingshot in the books. I had the world's tallest drop tower in the books until it unfortunately got demolished. But now I want to get on the wheel here at Icon Park. This wonderful Ferris wheel that overlooks all of Orlando. A slow moving, continuously boarding Ferris wheel. As always guys, if it's the first time to hit a channel, do me a favor, like and subscribe down below. But let's go get on the wheel here at Icon Park. Let's have a little bit of fun. Here she is from a distance. Now when I say continuously moving is she doesn't actually stop at all. The, the Ferris wheel continuously goes. She could actually zoom in and my hands aren't that steady, but you can see it goes so, so slow all the way around. So you're able to easily board on and off without stopping being an issue. It's about a full 30 minute cycle all the way around. Yeah. We wanted to do this forever, We're gonna give it a whirl now. Walking into Icon Park, right next to it is the world's tallest slingshot. I've conquered before. I have actually a POV video of it on this channel, so definitely check that out for sure. So once you get to Icon Park and make your way through all the bars, shops, and etc., and all that good jazz, you'll find yourself here at Own the Sky, which is the doors you'll enter to board the wheel here at Icon Park. Just right down the middle there. So good, so good, so good. So the atmosphere here is lovely. I actually love it a lot. He has outside bars. There's a courtyard. There's a carousel. You get your drink on, you get your shopping on. And yeah, literally right under here is where you walk into. You buy your tickets right here. Good times never seem so good. So literally right under here, I just got my ticket for the Orlando Vibe. Good to know though, there are time slots you have to choose from. And as far as the days I've been to Icon Park, today is by far the busiest. Um, however, though, it's only 6.56. I was able to get a 7 o'clock time slot. No worries. And you just entered right here to the left. Now, fun little nitbit, you can come and get a drink and bring it on the Paris wheel because that's how slow moving it is that you are allowed to bring a drink on. So we're going to do that and head on the Paris wheel. So, yeah, we just scanned our pass. We got our photos taken, which is actually included in the ticket. So good to know. I mean, it is pricey. You don't get the actual physical copy, but you can access them online. And you just come over here and it's continuously boarding station. And I think it's just as simple as giving them your ticket. Free. Yeah. Awesome. Well, 24, 25 is the next one, which looks like it has people on it. So yeah. You can see all the wheels that keep this thing turning and how slowly they rotate. So the actual wheel goes up to a physical height of 400 feet. This is going to be the tallest Ferris wheel I have ever been on. So yeah, you exit here. And then literally I just I said, give this gentleman my ticket, and we go on here. And here we go. Literally, we just pour it on while it's moving. We jump on in. We have a whole iPad here you can play with, and different musics and stuff. You can only connect your own Bluetooth. That's fun. And we're off to the races here. A very, very slow start. It's going to be a journey around. Because we're just literally getting about 10 feet now. Over the parking garage here. Over this, which, this is crazy to me, like, this whole entire wall 
but you take that much little space to put the tiniest sign that says Welcome to Florida to the Sunshine State. Realistically, that's the one thing you're putting the wall. Why not make it bigger? I don't know, I have these questions I have to ask. This good old Jacksonville sign. Maybe some more Florida stuff here on the roof. This is cool. It's a long, long circuit around, as you can see. We are not even a quarter of the way up yet. Also, just so you know, it is, so that is a parking garage that is directly associated with Icon Park. It is free to park there if you buy something. So you just need anything, you need a seat of some sorts, um, and then you just value your parking there. We've actually come to a stop now. We have not moved at all in the last like 20 seconds or so. Um, yeah. <laughs> Not sure why. Can't see anything down below as to why we're stopped. Unless it's a larger family getting on and off, which it looks like it is, yeah. Which is nice, yeah, which is good about these continuous moving rides. You can stop and start them whenever. Looks like a top golf over there. There you go. Now we're moving again. That is a top dog. We run the train station off to the right there. I'll check back on you in a second or two when we get a better view. Beautiful sunset though, gorgeous sunset. Oh, that is immaculate. Just off in the distance, you can see Mako. Just right there. There's Mako. And all the sea world skyline. I just really get to see Mako from here, but that is definitely Mako. A little further up than what we were. Sorry, let me zoom out. A little further up than what we were. Literally, I'm looking about nowhere near the apex. About 25% of the ride is done now. Yeah. And that is the world's tallest swing ride at 550 feet. It's a little bit taller than us here, but. Actually, I have two rides on there. I have one day ride and one night ride, and it is immaculate. It is impressive. It is awe-inspiring. And unfortunately, the world's tallest drop tower no longer stands because of unforeseen circumstances. Um, yeah. But the world's tallest slingshot is still here, which is fun and exciting. It was quite the queue earlier for a paper ride attraction. I'm gonna make it on all that. Beautiful view of the lakes. Gorgeous Florida sunset. And if you look this way, we have a wonderful, beautiful view of all of what Epic Universe is going to be. So essentially, from here is going to be the entrance to the hotel, from what I understand. You can see Starlight Flyer out there. And I'm oh, sorry, that's the entrance hotel. That's also another hotel over to the right, but that's going to be the entrance hotel. Um, I know all the names, but I don't know them verbatim. I have them written down somewhere. Um, I also did a whole lot of video of the lands that they were making at Epic Universe, which looks awesome and exciting. So definitely check it out on the channel if you haven't already. But yeah, that is a lot, a lot of space for a theme park. The actual area size of what Epic Universe is going to be. So if you take Islands of Adventure, Universal Studios Florida, and City Walk all together, it's still going to be not as much space as all of just that theme park in one. So yeah, I can't wait for that. It's gonna be exciting. It's gonna be awesome. So close, just about a year and a half away. Uh, what's cool about Icon Park though too, actually if you look down from uh, the wheel at Icon Park, well, you can see this lovely piece of bird crap. But other than that, um, that's Gordon Ramsay's Fish and Chips quick service location. So you have the British flag right there. And then you can see you get some hot dogs over there. You know? You know, this is actually, those two locations did great with their advertising. I wouldn't know what that is. I don't know what that is. I would guess that's a carousel. That is a carousel. Uh, but other than that, I would have no idea. So just to give you a comparison, if you look over that way, you can see that's all of regular Universal. You can see 
more so Islands of Adventure and Doctor Doom were right there. And it's about two miles or so. It's, it's a full 90 degrees at least on the Skywheel. And that's going to be at the Keyverse. And all the way down there, that's downtown Orlando. Yes, this is I drive. Epic Universe, Universal as it is now. And as you can see, we are very, very close. We are still at a standstill, but essentially, another 10 feet or so, we'll be at the apex of the Orlando Eye. Beautiful, gorgeous sunset. I actually was debating whether I do a day or a night ride, and I'm Compromise myself and like a sunset would be great on the Orlando Eye and I'm happy I got such. So this is the pinnacle, this is the apex of the Orlando Eye. Right directly in the middle. The architecture here is to the naked eye doesn't seem that impressive, but it really, really is. <laughs> I do love Orlando the last few years here. Happy and fantastic. As we dance around the skyline. Woo! It's crazy to look <clears throat> from literally just minutes ago as to how much the sun has gone down already. And how it's almost dark out. And I just keep staring, staring, staring at Epic. Uh, no pun intended, it very much so does look epic. Uh, a little tiny cars down there. Yeah, if you're coming to the Orlando area, Marissa Universal, I'd say stay along that drive. See right there. This is about nine miles that way. And generally speaking, you can find a nice, decent, very nice room for less than a hundred bucks a night. I drive is your choice, in my opinion, at least. Almost to the bottom now. Just about another two cars to go. Oh, one, two, all three, and then we're in there. And getting unloaded. This is fun. Would I do it again? Would I do it again? I've always wanted to do this, and honestly, it was the most impressive ever spill video I ever had in my life. But $40 for one Paris Film ride? For me, it's a one and done kind of thing. Um, they don't offer like, a return visit price, they don't offer a season pass, none of that. So, especially as a local, even more so as a personal application, but especially as a local, this can be a one and done kind of thing for me. It was a great, great view. Honestly, if it was 20 bucks, I would come back again, but knowing it's 40 bucks every time I go on, yeah, yeah, I gotta think twice about it. Although I do gotta say, this would be a perfect romantic spot for like a first date or something like that, or you know, you just try to move your views, you want some quiet time by yourself. This is, nobody bothers you. You know, you're, there's air conditioning, you can play your own music, you know, there's cup holders, you're good. It just, it's a lot of money. And now as we enter back, oh, there's a little Attention. bit of a queue. Bit of a queue, nothing too, too crazy. There's some people waiting for them now. But only we just get out of here and the exit and now we're back on planet Earth. I'm guessing we just go up this way. Nope, never mind. This way. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Yeah, that was never wrong. That was exciting. That was awesome. That was cool. This is where they try to pitch us for the physical photo. Photos right here. Appreciate it. Thank you. Have a nice day. Thank you. I never understood why places like that, like medieval times, you know, like places like this, they try to sell you the physical copy of the photo, which they already printed out for you. Like, I'm gonna tell you no, you know, waste the money to print out the photo, so it must not cost that much money to make those printouts, I'm thinking, to where you're worried about 
losing that money. And that's gonna be a wrap, guys, today here from Theme Park Tempo from Icon Park. It was such a thrill getting you guys on the Orlando Eye. Finally, after three and a half years, experiencing a 400 foot tall Ferris wheel. It was great, it was thrilling, it was exciting. Amazing views. As always, guys, if it's your first time to the channel, do me a favor, like and subscribe down below. Until then, catch you guys next time. Meet you at the Midway.